Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mark Edlin, and today we are going to be comparing the difference in sound between two mics recording a violin in an apartment space. So by the end of the video, I hope you have a better understanding of each mic and have the opportunity to formulate your own opinion on which mic to use in a home recording situation. So without further ado, let's take a look at the mics. This is the Austin DIY Ribbon Mic. Um, you can actually purchase it on DIYRibbonMic.com. This was actually built by Walter, a performer, in the video, and it's bi-directional. It has a really good frequency range. This is the ADK Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. Its polar patterns are cardioid, omni, and figure eight. And it's got a frequency range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is Walter walking into the acoustical space that we're going to be recording in this evening. So first you got to set the mic at a good position to where it's placed to where the F holes are. You got to make sure that everyone's happy in the situation. Of course, you got to tie all your loose ends on the microphone and everything just to get everything set up correctly. There we go. So let the performer play real quick and get the levels set up and everything, and after he plays for a little bit, just every, get everything set up to be exactly where it needs to be and satisfied on your preamplifier. So to have both mics in one location, we're using a stereo bar, and this is just a picture to emphasize that. Also, we just want to have the mics in one location parallel to the instrument. Now let's record. In this recording and musical situation, I personally would select the ADK condenser mic for a myriad of reasons. As I listened back to each solo track, I found that the ADK has more high frequency response in comparison to the rhythm mic. Since Walter is playing with such a high dynamic range, this mic would be a perfect choice to capture the harshness and brashness of the violin. On the other hand, the ribbon mic has less high frequencies and to me almost sounds muted, like there's a pillow or a filter over it. I personally think this wouldn't be the best choice in the situation, and I would go with the ADK condenser mic. 